started. Good evening, residents. Um, today is Thursday, September 10th. We're going to have a special meeting of the Board of Trustees. We'll uh, stand up to the Pledge of Allegiance and get the meeting started. firefighters, road workers, sheriff's deputies as they serve our community here and abroad. Okay, thank you. Um, Steve, are you going to do roll call, please? Yes. Uh, M. Michael McLaughlin? Present. James McGuire? Present. Roy Mann? Present. Okay, so the sole topic of this meeting this evening is addressing the fire department issues, and Mr. Mann, I believe you have the floor. Okay, we accepted a resignation letter from Chad McInturf, uh battalion chief, and on that letter he stated that he wanted to work until 10-24-2020. The reason for this meeting today is to put uh, Mike and Turk on paid administrative leave starting uh, 9 10 of 2020 until that date uh, comes. And we'll, which at that time, I'm going to read uh, this entire letter <clears throat> and then we can. Jefferson Township Trustees have accepted the resignation letter provided by Battalion Chief McInturf on 9-1-2020 with effective date of 10-24 of 2020. Jefferson Township Trustees have voted to place Battalion Chief Chad McInturf on paid administrative leave effective immediately dates 9-10-2020. This is a directive from Jefferson Township Trustees for Battalion Chief McInturf to follow during the paid administration leave period. The paid administration leave period will expire and end with the date of Mr. McInturf's resignation, which is 9-24. It's going to be 10-24-2020. Uh, the paid administrative leave period is defined at 9-10 of 2020 to 10-24 of 2020. Once the date 9-24 once the date of 10-24 is reached, employee Chad McInturf will no longer be employed or be affiliated with Jefferson Township, and all payroll and benefits will cease. Any violations of this directive, including failure to perform any tasks as required below, will sacrifice the administrative paid leave period. That is based on a 40-hour work week. A payroll and benefits will be forfeited and will cease as well. The directive given to Chad McInturf is as follows. Number one, employee Chad McInturf agrees to turn in all equipment, uniforms, informational technology, any, all phones, keys, username and passwords, all files, both hard copy and electronically stored, and any other township-owned property immediately upon 
the adoption of this agreement, which is 9-10-2020 today's date. Employee Chad McInturf is required to turn over all door locking equipment and any other equipment that is in his possession on both Jefferson Township property and all property including his home or vehicle. Number three, employee Chad McInturf will agree to cooperate immediately with any party of the township if the township will contact him to assist with any or all needs that arise during the paid administrative leave period. Number four, employee Chad McInturf will be required to not discuss township business or trade secrets with any party due to the Jefferson Township Human Resource and Operational Guideline Manual during this paid administrative leave period. Number five, employee Chad McInturf will not be permitted to visit, enter, or make contact with any township owned property or township staff during the paid administrative leave period. Number six, employee Chad McInturf will not be permitted to contact any vendor or any other party that does business with the township during the administrative leave period. Number seven, employee Chad McInturf will not be permitted to wear any clothing that has any reference to Jefferson Township, Jefferson Township Fire Department, or any other Jefferson Township reference clothing during the paid administrative leave period. Number eight, employee Chad McInturf is not permitted to contact grant writers, medical advisors, or legal parties that are affiliated with the township during the paid administrative leave period. Number nine, employee Chad McInturf is not permitted to talk with former employees, former chiefs, or past or present trustees during the paid administrative leave period. Number 10, employee Chad McInturf will report directly to the township administrator during the paid administrative leave period. And number 11, employee Chad McInturf will not be permitted to respond to any call, dispatch, or disaster that might occur without direct written consent of the township during the paid administrative leave period. And number 12, employee Chad McInturf will agree to be available if contacted to perform any duty during the administrative leave period. And then it says, are we going to have him sign, I acknowledge this directive that includes the conditions detailed in items 1 through 12 and acknowledge that during paid administrative leave period, I must follow the directives as a requirement to maintain my employment at Jefferson Township. And I have a date for him to sign his name and date of this agreement. Okay, I guess what we need is the three of us to agree to this. So we want to make what you read a motion to adopt this or accept this? Yes, just accept this once he signs. That's what I'll do. So we get a motion on the floor? Yeah, I mean, what's the date again you want to do this? It's going to be from today's date until 10-24-2020. Mr. President, I make a motion to adopt a resolution putting the 
Battalion Chief Chuck McInturf on paid administrative leave, effective September 10, 2020, uh, with his last day being October the 24th. Jefferson Township. Okay, so you need a second. I second the motion. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor to, um, that was a number, <coughs> even heard a number, I think we know the number without Tracy being here, uh, but a motion to uh, put Chad McIntyre on paid administrative leave for a while from now until October 24th. Um, any questions? Just not. Steve, you want to do roll call, please? Yes. M. Michael McLaughlin. Um, I, I can't vote on this just now hearing about this. Um, I don't know enough about it to be able to make a vote. I'll abstain from my vote. All right. Mr. McLaughlin abstains. Uh, Mr. Uh, McGuire. Yes. Mr. Mann. Yes. Motion carries. So, uh, do we have a resolution written for this? Or are we going to sign it Tuesday? How are you going to do that? You can sign that today. Chief Administrator handle the notification process? Um, Mr. Wolf, we'll just give that to Mr. Wolf. He will be with him, with him and uh, put that in his file. We'll motion to adjourn. We just said most of what we're talking about. No, that's it. Second, move to adjourn. Motion to meetings adjourned at uh, 6 11. And hey Mike, did you make the first motion? Huh? Did you make the first motion? Motion for what? To adjourn. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes.